back here. It's time for our In the Turn interview. This week, joining us from Pocono Raceway, hometown race forum, is driver of the number four for JD Motorsports, Garrett Smithley. Garrett, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. So, hometown race for you. You're from a little bit uh, further west here in the state, if I'm not mistaken. What's it mean to be back here at Pocono Raceway? Yeah, I, you know, just also, too, like with me being from from Pennsylvania, uh, Ligonier, uh, like you said, over towards Pittsburgh. Um, but this is the second time, this, this track, uh, I had my second ever truck race. So, for me... Uh, it's really, really cool, really special to come back here. I love this place. I've always loved this place. Um, I made my stock car debut here as well in the Arca Series. So I've run all four of those series here at Pocono. Uh, their uh, Truck Series, Xfinity Series for four years, and then uh, the Cup Series several times. So uh, always special to come back here. And, uh, yeah, it's home state. So it's uh, it just makes it a little bit more special and uh, makes me work maybe a little bit harder to, to get a better finish. 76 Cup Series uh Appearances, 153 going on 154 in Xfinity here this weekend. Nine Craftsman Truck Series races. You got a favorite memory, whether it be from the track or in general, throughout the racing career that really sticks out to you? Um, you know, honestly, probably like my first ARCA start here. You know, I I had no idea what I was doing. I probably shouldn't have been in the car, to be honest with you. Um, you know, never ran uh, any any stock cars on short tracks or anything. So we started at Pocono. We had a sponsor and, uh, and a team that was willing to take us. And um, I think just going through the motions and, you know, everything got rained out. So there wasn't any practice or qualifying or anything. We just lined up and raced. And, you know, starting 36, I think in, you know, three laps, we were, you know, up pushing the top 20 and ended up finishing 17th. So I think that was a huge memory because I think that was the first time that I really felt like, I could do this as a career, and um, and it's worked out so far. Bounced around a little bit this season. You're back here at JD Motorsports. You've been here before. What's it mean to be back here? How's the season kind of progressed, and what's went into it? Yeah, I haven't been shy about saying it's been an incredibly tough season. Obviously, it, it hasn't worked out, you know, starting out, and then, uh, you know, back with Johnny. Um, it is special to come back with Johnny. I, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today without Johnny, obviously, not only because I'm here racing for him this weekend, but the fact that he gave me so many opportunities throughout the seasons, throughout the years. Um, raced for four years with him from 2016 to 2019 um, and got a, a lot of experience because of that. So uh, for me, it's uh, it's awesome to come back. He's given a lot of drivers opportunities and um, just thankful that, uh, that he's allowing me to, to come race and take care of my sponsors and um, you know, just just looking to, to make the best out of the season. Talk to us about the sponsors. Who do you have on the race car, whether it be not only just this weekend in Pocono, but this season? Yeah, we've had some great supporters, um, and they've been very patient with me with all the craziness happening. Uh, this week it's special. We got Gray's Craze uh, on the car, uh, kind of a, a charcuterie board company. Um, doing uh, doing specialty charcuterie boards and uh, cheese boards and um, what have you. So whether or not you come in and, and have you know want a snack or whether or not it's uh, it's corporate gifts stuff like that. Um, they're opening in, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, down the road. So they'll be open, I think, at some point in August. So um, check them out. Huge thanks to, to Rusty and uh, and Gene Kuchta for uh, for making that happen. Trophy Tractor is our biggest supporter. Um, they've been on the on the car supporting me for for years, and they're on every single week. Um, Hoffman Group, uh, Hoffman Tools, they're uh, they're huge supporters of me. PC ARX, uh, Clearview. Um, Tail Greeter, they've all, all been huge supporters. And i uh, uh, got to give a shout-out to Molly Strong. Um, Rusty's daughter uh, battled leukemia, and, uh, and Molly Strong is a really, really cool org- organization um, helping uh, kids and adults uh, to fight that. So um, huge thanks to all of them, and, uh, yeah, just uh, couldn't, couldn't be here without any of them. Uh, going forward this season, what's uh, on the horizon? Any plans to get back in a cup car this year what's the rest of 2023 look like yeah right now just trying to to manage this this year um you know take care of our sponsors that we have my next scheduled race is daytona with johnny um with the hoffman group so uh excited for that um right now it's just kind of week to week if there's opportunities out there i'd love to get back in the cup series but right now we're we're focused on trying to put the rest of the season together and and take care of our sponsors take care of the race team and then uh you know look into to start building for 2024 what would a successful day at pocono consist of here today 
Uh, right now, car in one piece, and uh, I mean, we would absolutely love to run top 20, so that would be an in, in, insane day. Um, but if we can get to the checker flag and uh, and have a car that's in one piece to go to the next one, that's uh, that's that's our, our number one goal. Excellent. Driver, the number four for JD Motorsports, Garrett Smithley, joining us here.